Hi Pisceans! Welcome to my channel. We're doing your November 20 to the 26th. Uh, this is your what are they hiding, okay, to have, for you to have a better judgment on whatever you're going through. That's gonna be about their life, okay. So let's see what's going on for you guys for this week. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Ooh, okay, here we go. Um, you have your temperance, so you could be probably connecting with a Sagittarian, okay? If it's not Sagittarian, you're connecting with someone who's from a distance or someone who thinks that they're always right. That's one thing. <laughs> okay. Besides that factor, this person also is, um, you know, um, either your situation here, when one, you could be dealing with a soulmate. Um, I don't know why they're telling me this, but one is a bigger person than the other in physicality. I just have to say, it. I don't mind whatever you guys, you know, f size, shape, and thing, okay? <laughs> but I'm just saying, it's like they're telling me that one is big and one is small. I don't know what that means, okay? So, but just letting you guys know. So, um, this is marriage of the soul. This is a different energy from the Hierophant. The Hierophant brings, you know, the connection to the earth energy. But considering that this is the ninth house, uh, you know, this is like a, something that is, um, you find so attractive because of the, of how they have opened your eyes to something that you have never seen, whatever that means. Ace of Wands. Okay, well, if they opened your eyes, I don't know what that means, but they have been. Ace of Wands, okay. One, okay, the saying, because this is very, I mean, you know, the passion, the energy of the ones is crazy. Uh -huh. They chase, they run after you, and then they drop you. Uh, just have to let you guys know with the Ace of Wands. It, it, this is something fast. You know, you didn't expect meeting a soulmate, you know, and then you met them. And then they spark something in you, which is like a universe opening inside your heart. So try to figure that out, which you can't. And that's how you are now basically, oh my god, oh my god, what this person did to me, okay? Because it's it's a very, it's just big. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. But the, I don't know, for some reason, I'm just saying, it's like maybe you were connecting with someone who is very much in that level, okay? I don't know what they keep saying about big. Maybe, you know what? Watch Sex and the City, Mr. Big, okay? A Pisces, okay? <laughs> Ooh, High Priestess, okay? Both major arcana over here. Someone here is doing some inner work. Um, can be a person who practices, you know, the occult at the same time. Secretly, though, okay? So they could be praying to someone, praying to something, or praying to the source. Um, this person is also doing some research, you know? Um, the scroll over here is reflective of research of the occult, from what I'm sensing right now. Normally, it's a research online that they're going to find, try and figure you out, something like that. But considering that the first card is spirituality, so someone here is researching about spirituality, maybe tarot, um, astrology. Someone is practicing in that level, all okay? right? Which is very good, I think. That's always good. It's like, the occult is not an occult. You know what? Let's not go there. Okay. <laughs> so you won't understand me. You have your page of wands. Okay. Again, very much. Chemistry is here. Um, this is someone who loves to have passionate sex. Loves to have amazing connection with regards to sex because that's where they feel mostly the connection. Okay, but see, I don't know who you're connecting with, but their vibe is very much like a Scorpio. Okay, with that with that kind of energy, that is a very Scorpionic way to be connected. Oh, and four of ones told you to be connected. Mm -hmm. Instant connection. It became a relationship overnight, or if it doesn't become a relationship overnight, it progresses every day to some sort of something. To the next level of whatever that is stability is here um they use however their charm this person is like a cry baby or you could be a cry baby you know go those ways um they have to beg for something to get the attention so they could probably begging for your attention i want i want i want i need i need i need okay but they're doing something that you don't even know because the the challenge of the high priestess is changing the moon to uh to become the sun so there is something that needs to be enlightened over here okay ace of swords which is enlightenment because of the truth sorry if i'm scratching my nose i'm sensitive to the heat enlightenment the truth comes out someone is going to be straightforward about this connection 
Um, but this is more of like, I really want to be with you. This is what the conversation is going. I really want to be with you. Plain and simple. Mm, Queen of Swords, even more, more cutthroat. Either you or this person is just going to say, it's like, well, if we're going to be together, this is how it's going to be. All right? Because someone approaches straightforward, the other person's approach is also straightforward. So this is laying down the law, putting down the things. Because this is a divorcee card if you've never been divorced. or But this is going to be a person who has experienced a lot of relationship in their life, which becomes, you know, a knowledge, a wisdom. Well, it becomes wisdom because they're not they're now going to apply it. It's not just going to be inside them. Because can be this spiritual person has experienced someone in, something in their life that now they're more in the practical sense. We need to establish things. We need to make things right. That's what the Queen of Swords is. It's never bad. The Queen of Swords is always good. Because they are seasoned people who are experienced in relationship. Not the whole lovey-dovey energy. No, they're smart. Okay? So I'm going to continue this reading. You could be connecting with the Temperance, Sagittarian, Pisces. I'm Taurus over here, I'm air sign also, okay? Thank you very much.